Okay, so we're going to work on a master slave D flip flop. Go Navy. Here is the A circuit of the master is A, the slave is B. You have inputs of D and E, outputs of Q and Q naught on A. And you have inputs of D and E on B and Q and Q naught on B, the slave. If you see here, Q feeds directly into D. So in our case, Q will be equal to D. So Q equal D of B, of the slave. So we can use this line for both timetables. This is an inverter right here with that little circle. So what happens is E comes in, gets inverted, and so the invert of E goes into B. So if you look here, E's coming in. Well, let's start from the beginning. E is the enabler. This is a um, trailing edge flip-flop, which means that it responds to the down movement of the signal, not the leading edge, the up edge. The enabler is what drives it, E for enable. If you go in here, let's take the E, it's coming in and goes 0, then goes 1 then back to zero. One, zero, one, zero. One, zero, like that. D is coming in, is the signal coming in, goes up, down, let's say it's a pulse frequency at a certain pulse. One, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. That's what's going in here. So the way this works, the output Q will be based on E and D, and how it works is you look at on the label circuit when it goes down the trailing edge like I said earlier the trailing edge so if we look here at this trailing edge D is zero so that means Q will be zero Q will stay zero until this has another trailing edge now it so happens that at this trailing edge Q or D is at one so Q will snap up and go to one at this trailing edge, so that it drops down, stays down. Even though this is going up and down, Q stays on because it only activates at trailing edges and it goes to the value whatever D is at the trailing edge. So we're going along on Q again. We hit this trailing edge. At this trailing edge, D is equal to zero, so Q drops down. Now I didn't put any more trailing edges. But if I were to put another trailing edge, another blip right here where this is zero, it would have stayed zero because it looks at the trailing edge and stays down. Q prime is just the opposite of Q. And as you can see here, Q is at zero. So Q prime is at one. They just are inverse of each other. They're like in an inverse signal. Okay? Now Q is equal to D. You can see that right here. Q is feeding the D on B. So I don't need to write another D on B, on circuit B right here. So B, this will be our D right here, signal for the slave. Now E is on an inverter. So if you look here, E is just the opposite of E on A. E on B is the opposite of E on A. You can see it's one here, drops down, because this goes up, they're just inverse of each other because of this inverter right here. Taking this E signal, inverting it, and putting it in this E place, the enabler. So now let's look at E and D. Remember this is D for circuit B. When the enabler goes down, on B, it's zero. So where's this one at right here? It's zero, so that stays zero. Then it, you have another trailing edge on E. That's zero, so it stays zero. Another trailing edge. You can see it's one now, so it pops up to one. There's no more trailing edges, so it just stays on one at that point. Q prime on B is the opposite of Q on B, just like it was here. So you can see it's 
this is zero, so this is one, and the inverse. So there's a D flip-flop, a master-slave D-flop trailing edge.